been trying to get a lockjaw Easter egg, and it did not happen. But season two, the Mar- there's a season two. The Marvels. The Marvels. I would love to. I gotta. I gotta make this happen. I love jo- lockjaw. And what has it been like to kind of develop a friendship with Iman and the rest of the cast on set? I mean, it's it's insane. We're best friends. I literally, they're my best friends, and I've known them. A year and a half, two years, which is crazy. I feel like I've known them for a long time, but Amon, I met her first. We had a couple weeks of rehearsals and, and just getting to know her and, and you know, she's Kamala Khan. She, she knows the character in and out and just being her scene partner and, and doing these scenes with her and not only her, but everyone is, has been so fun. I mean, Amon and I are so close, so close. We got to spend so much time together and every day at work with her is just so easy. She is literally perfect. <laughs> I mean, in every way, like just as a person, as Kamala, as Miss Marvel, she is her through and through. And I, I, I mean, she's just the sweetest person. And I think people are really going to enjoy just, again, how authentic she is, how much. I mean, the first day I met her, she had a comic book in her hand. <laughs> and that was her, like, I was like, oh, you're you're her. You're, you're in love with comics. I love it. It was amazing to meet Iman. You know, she's a fresh new actress and she's bringing a new take on, on this character. I think that everyone's going to be wowed by the entire series. I think there's no separating the representation of this character on screen and Iman's energy and her own story in coming to this character, right? She was such a fan. She was really born to play the role. And to see that, to see the meeting of this character and this young girl, young woman come together, it just, it was so special. It just felt like this like faded thing that we got to witness every day. It was insane just to like meet such different people at different points in our life and we all got together so well instantly. We talk all the time. Yasmin is literally my best friend. We hang out 24-7. You know, you get to work for Marvel and that's amazing, but you get lifelong friends out of it also. It was it was very nice. It was very positive. Everybody was really helpful. And I think it was just very, I mean, to be on set, it really, it, it's very important to have like a very positive environment. Everybody should just be like a family. Even though we were shooting at a very difficult time during COVID, everything was under lockdown. Everybody was masked up. Uh, but I think just everybody created this really strong bond which I'm really glad about actually I didn't read the comics before I booked it um, and after after getting far into it and actually booking it I I went to my nearest comic book store and bought as much as I could and I was reading them till 3 30 4 a.m. I have a vivid memory on my couch just reading them and, and I took a lot from it you know and especially because everybody wanted to you know bring the comics to life in, in the most authentic way in the most true way possible and I took a lot of inspiration you get to wear a Captain Marvel costume <laughs> <laughs> what was that like? I think it's in the trailer. Um, it is in the trailer. Yeah. Oh my god, it was amazing. I just remember going into all of the fittings and them like doing all these minor adjustments just to like make it perfect. And then they put on the boots and I was like, I can keep these, right? And they were like, we'll see. And then on my last day, they left them in my trailer and I still have the boots. I wear them all the time. If I can have her powers for a day? Yeah. Oh my god. I have no idea. Honestly, honestly the, the secrets have been so well kept. I don't even know. I haven't seen the show. So I don't even know what happens in the show. And I know that there's evidently some difference between the comic book and the show. And some of the fans are opining about that. So the most honest answer is I don't know. Sure. My character is Muniba Khan. She's Iman's mother. I mean, or Miss Marvel's mother. And she's a very, very typical South Asian mother. Protective and loving and kind. But also can like kick a little bit of butt when she needs to yeah and keep everybody in place and uh, what's so cool about the show is the depiction of muslim and south asian people in a way that they haven't been in a major series before can you speak to being part of that and what it means to you i think just being on the right side of history in itself is amazing to be a part of and then you've got disney and you've got marvel um, and they're to me they're really the forefront of bringing inclusion representation matters extremely you know it's it, especially this day and age of what we hear in the news we needed this you know not just the muslim community but i think everyone as a whole i mean it was authenticity all around that was that was the the get from day one that was when i first met sana that she was like this is what we're trying to do here and i love that i mean like i said coming from baghdad i didn't see this happening you know i didn't uh see this representation here in america specifically for this teenage kid um so i think that was really what was the most important throughout the whole time and just making sure in front of the camera behind the camera the wardrobe everything was just 
on point and authentic and to its time and to its uh, people. I will use this word now. I would say it's groundbreaking. Hopefully in the future it will just be normal, it will just be another show about some Muslims or some ethnic people, right? But at this moment it was absolutely incredible just knowing that there's first a show about a Muslim superhero with Muslims with a mosque and me playing, uh, playing the Imam of the mosque was a breath of fresh air because I, I, th I think most of my life, I think except for the early part of my career, I've said no to playing Imams or religious figures because they, they have been portrayed as just two dimensional. They're, they're either like strict, angry, uh, whatever, by the book. And uh, Sheikh Abdullah is like, a, he's a, even in the comics, he's just a fresh of, a, a breath of fresh air, you know what I mean? He's, he's just cool. He, he would make me, like, want to go to the mosque to hear him speak. And even if I weren't a Muslim, I was like, you know, I, I'm going to go, I want to go, I want to go and hear this guy speak because he's really, he's funny. And it's amazing. I still can't, honest to God, I still, it's hard to digest to know that this will be, there's a mosque in the Marvel Universe. A mosque in the Marvel Universe that is so integral to the story. It's just it's amazing. I feel uh, that it is very important and it is uh, absolutely wonderful that um, a Muslim family and a Muslim uh, superwoman, supergirl, is uh, in the Marvel uh, series. It, it, it sort of brings us closer. Did you ever like imagine this moment of uh, it becoming a TV series? Um, no, I didn't think that this was going to happen. We thought we weren't going to get past issue nine. So, and Willow is here. Did you guys see Willow? She's here somewhere. And so I'm going to give her a big hug because uh, we certainly feel like this is a big victory lap, victory lap for, for Ms. Marvel and Kamala. It's absolutely incredible. Well, you know, we, we love the comic books and the vibrancy and the colors. And, and also we loved, you know, Into the Spider-Verse with that animation. And we were sort of wondering what would it be if we could translate that to live action. And I was curious if there's an element of Kamala you got to bring from your own personal experience to the character? A little bit, yeah. I mean, I think that's definitely why I was there. I, I have a little bit of in common with her. I'm certainly also the kid of, of immigrants, first-generation immigrant kid growing up in Jersey. I grew up in Jersey as well. And, and similar to Kamala, felt like caught between worlds, caught between the world my parents wanted for me and, and the world I wanted to lose myself in, movies, namely for me. Um, so, so I felt that kinship with her when I read the comics. I read the comics years before this was even, I'd even heard of how this was going to end up being adapted. And I think so many people, like me, young brown girls, you know, read that comic, saw the cover of the first comic of No Normal and saw themselves on it and were like, wow, we didn't think that they were going to hold that mirror up to us, but they did. Oh,